Hey there, we finally reached the last video of this series. And this one will create a new activity to display a detailed view of transaction from where we can update whatever field we like. This is how it should look like. You click on an item and the activity starts. So we have the same structure as the add transaction activity, except for the edit text layout's appearance and the, and the bottom button. It should appear only if we edit the fields like now. Okay, hide, and now it appears. Also, if we click outside the box, the field should lose focus and the keyboard should disappear. So let's create a new activity class and name it detailed activity. So activity, empty activity like usual, and name it to detailed activity. This should create a new layout too. This is it. Actually, this is it. Okay, now let's copy paste what's in the add transaction activity, all of it, and paste it. Let's close this and paste it here. Remove all, paste all, and change this context to detailed activity. Okay, now let's open the split view, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Let's get to work. First, hide the box by setting the stroke width to zero. So in every text edit layout, text input layout, let's start with this one. Set the box stroke width to zero. Also remove the drawable start attribute. This one, remove all of it. There's no drawables and and increase text size up to 34 sp text size 34 sp so this is looking better let's see how it really looks like by adding a gmo text field and type in whatever you like okay it looks nice so let's remove this field and apply the same changes on all the edit text views. So amount, give it box width to zero. And for this one, actually we will keep the dollar sign and set the text size to 34. Okay, description, same thing, remove the drawable start, set text size to 34 SP and the box stroke width to zero. Now change the add button to update button and move it out of the linear layout to the main layout. Now let's add some constraints. So just click on it and select this, put it here, this one below the linear layout. Add start and end constraints. Okay, change padding to 10 to make it look a little bit smaller and set the margin to 10. Okay, so this removes some space on the start and at the end. Also, the text uh, set it to update transaction. So at first, this button won't be showing till some modification is done. So set the visibility attribute to gone. Visibility gone. Okay. Now it ceases to exist. Uh, also, we said that we wanted to force text fields to lose focus when touch outside the text fields. So actually you can see layout file as a superposition of component layers. 
so the text fields are on top of the linear layout that contains them and the linear layout is in turn on top of the root layout so we want to check if anything outside the text fields it clicks and this is the root layout so let's give it an ID to be able to interact with it in the activity ID name it root view okay now we can close this and let's head to detailed activity actually here we'll be using the same logic as add transaction activity so let's copy some things from here actually let's copy everything up and paste it just remove this bracket paste everything here so everything looks great we have to make some changes so the add transaction button doesn't exist because it's update button now and the insert method should become update and the and the database function here instead of insert all it should be update this transaction now let's also change insert to update and this updates the transaction in the database but to know which fields to update we should get the fields from the edit text so this is done here and at start this activity should display the amount the label and the description but to do this we need the transaction so if we look at the application our transaction are in recycler view and when we click on them it should open a new activity and send this transaction to the new activity so this is done inside the recycle view adapter and transaction adapter in the unbind view holder we set the values in the recycler view and we want to add a click listener on the item view field of the holder so the item view is the parent layout of the label and the amount text views so let's set on click listener and here we usually create an intent and start an activity with this intent so let's write this first so val intent equal intent no intent with the context and the destination activity it's detailed activity class.java and context actually in main activity we just type in start activity but since this is not an activity it's just class it should use the context to refer to the activity so context dot start activity and it takes in an intent so we're nearly done here now we need to give the intent a transaction to pass it on to the detailed activity fortunately the intent can take in extras this is a way of communicating data between activities so intent dot put extra so extras should be of primitive types or objects that are serializable so to make an object serializable we have to say it explicitly so open transaction and make it extend serializable now we can send it as an extra and to do this we specify the name of the extra its transaction and the extra I want to send it's also transaction that we find just here and now we're ready so if we execute this it should start new activity but there is an error expecting the top level decoration where 
I'll actually have an extra brackets here. Let's close this and rerun. So this is magic of copy paste. You gotta be careful. Okay. Now let's test it. And this is it. So for now, there's nothing to show because we didn't try to show anything yet. So first we have to get the transaction from the intent at startup. So let's call this transaction and get it from the intent dot get serializable extra and the name we gave it in the other file is transaction. So here you notice that the, the, the type is serializable, but we know that this is a transaction. So we can force a cast by adding as transaction. So now the type is transaction. Okay, now we want to show them. So let's start with the label input and set text and the text is transaction dot label. Okay, do the same thing with the amount input. Set text transaction dot amount. There is something wrong. Actually set text takes in a string and amount is a double so let's transform it to string. But don't worry because the field is specified to be a double in the layout. Should like this one, but the other one that we closed. Okay, so here we specified it as a number. So Android Studio will know how to deal with it. So don't worry about this. Head back here and so the last thing is description input. Set text to transaction description. Okay, we're done here. Actually, we're nearly done. So we want the update button to be visible when we start changing these fields. So let's add here update button dot visibility set to view dot visible. Okay, let's copy this and paste it here. And add the last one for the description. Copy, paste this, change this to description. And we don't want to show errors because description is optional. So remove this and just leave visible. So now if we rerun this, wait for it. Okay, so we have budget and the title budget, the amount is 400 and there is description. So if we change this, let's remove the T. If we click outside, it won't disappear. This is what we're going to do just after this. So close this and here is the button. So let's close and close this. And uh, we want to add a click listener on the root view. So we clear focus and hide keyboard. So root view dot set on click listener. First of all, let's force all the elements to lose focus. This is done by calling the window and the decor view and clear focus. Okay. Now we want to hide the keyboard. So there is a trick. You have to import the system service. Call it M and it's get system service. We want the input method so get the context and specify input method service so here we call the input method manager so cast it to input method manager 
and this thing this object here it deals with the keyboard so we want to tell him hide soft keyboard he needs to know which window so we give it a window token and the flags to zero okay let's try this open click 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 okay this is great so let's change the amount and set it to 200 and update oh there's something wrong here oh there's something wrong here it wasn't updated actually we didn't change the field so let's change this we need to create a new transaction and push it to the update method so for the database to know which field it should be update it needs to know the id because it's the primary key so here it's zero and we should set it to transaction actually transaction isn't a global variable so let's set it global variable here private late init var transaction transaction okay and here we need transaction dot id now it should work just fine here it comes okay so say to 200 click outside save now it's 200 let's change ice cream and give it description yummy yummy open it again and there it is okay guys this is working just great and it concludes this series on learning android development with kotlin i hope you enjoyed it and actually learned a thing or two if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified when the next series kicks in hit the bell button and subscribe thank you and take care